In this brief demonstration, I'm going to be showing you adjust like a spring and adjust a fit and allow assembly relationships for adjustable parts. The first one that we're looking at is the adjust like a spring. When you set it to adjust like a spring, um, you need to measure a distance inside the assembly. Uh, this is going to create an assembly variable that's going to drive the length of the spring in this case. Once we have that set, we just simply connect the endpoint. Uh, of the spring to the center of the arm and this is only for location. Notice that the adjustable arm um, is not fully constrained which means we can use the drag functionality to change the angle between the two arms and the spring is going to adjust to fit uh, that distance between those two holes. The next thing I want to show you is the option uh, to change this to adjust to fit and allow assembly relationships. Now we'll actually specify a length of the spring and when we do that it's going to drive the assembly. So once we click OK you'll see that the angle changes. You'll also notice that the adjustable arm now is fully constrained. That those constraints uh, on the spring are just like any other assembly constraint and we can drive the assembly uh, from this spring length. 